Hello everyone, it is Plagin here. Hope you're all having a lovely time, whether it's day, night, or afternoon for you. Anyway, got some announcements to make here. Some of them you might have heard, some of them I know you have not heard, so we're gonna go ahead and just kind of jump on in to it. So, very basic background information stuff here. Um, I'm not good at editing videos and stuff, so that's why this video is going to be kind of shitty looking. Join me for that. All right. First and foremost, if you've not heard, I have a Twitch. It's twitch.tv slash plug and shiki. The uh, link to which will be in the bottom of the, the description of the video here. Feel free to go over there and you can uh, watch me when I play games and stuff like that. And I've got this cute little smug emote of my character Psycho, who uh, smoking a cigarette while looking smugly at you. Although I don't have um, a subscription button or anything yet, so this is on BTTV, um, which if you go to my Twitch, all of the emotes that you can use with BTTV that I currently have activated are below the uh, the actual uh, stream. You can check them out there. I have three total emotes that you'll all see on this video today as well, because I'm using them to give points. Anyway, she's smug, she's great. If you want to use that emote, come to Twitch. And if we get like a you know consistent viewer base of three or more people, I'll get affiliate. And then you can actually subscribe and use this emote everywhere on Twitch, not just my channel. Throwing it out there. Anyway, we're, uh, we're usually sitting around, I think we're at like 2.5 viewers per stream right now. So we just need like a couple more consistent viewers for a couple more days and we'll get that affiliate spot. Then we can get emotes and we can subscribe and do uh, bits and stuff like that and play ads and I can get money and whatever. The thing is I want emotes. That's what I want. Money is secondary to the emotes that I want to use on Twitch. All right. And uh, these emotes were done, well, this emote specifically was done by uh, Scorching Nova. And a uh, very lovely artist who does lewd things with his art. But he also is very good at emotes. So I was like, hey, dude, make me some emotes, man. And he did. So that's that. That's Twitch taken care of. Next announcement here. I made a Twitter. Now some of you might be like, but you already have a Twitter? Excuse me? Well, that Twitter, it's been over on my porn. All right, let's just throw it out there. The previous Twitter that I had, <laughs> you go on there now, it's all porn. It's retweets of porn artists and yada yada, and that's not exactly professional for the people who want to be there for stream announcements or stream-related stuff and things and all that yada yada. So. I just went ahead and made another one. Um, I recently discovered it was easy to like switch between Twitter accounts to actually do stuff, and uh, I was like, "Cool, I'll uh, I'll make this." So, for video uploads, for going live on Twitch, I'll be announcing it all there, so you can know when I'm going live, and it's gonna be great. And you'll want to do video and whatnot, and I might just say random stuff. Or I might just say random stuff on my other Twitter, which uh, if you want to go to my other Twitter, you have to find it. It's a scavenger hunt. Yes. Those of you who are already there, congratulations. You can see all the lewds that I commissioned of my characters, including Psycho, the character right up there. All right. On to the next announcement. The Plaguing Gaming Channel which you may be watching this video on, or you may be on my main channel, Plague and Shiki. First and foremost, I realized that I only had to have 100 subscribers to actually get a custom URL. So, there it is, youtube.com slash gaming. Yep, you can now just type that in and it'll take you directly to that channel. I'm also gonna have a link to that in the description along with the Twitter up above that I uh, kinda forgot to mention there. Anyway. As you can see, there's my character Psycho with a knife. Yes. 
I'm using that to imply that, well, the YouTube gaming channel will be getting the knife, so to speak. I'm not going to upload any more to that stuff. There's like, I think it has 131 subscribers as of this particular moment, while my main channel has a lot more. I, I don't know, it's like 3,000 something. I figure, the thing I was trying to do was, I was like, I was like I'll, I'll try to grow my gaming audience since no one on the main channel really likes watching my gaming stuff and whatnot. And well, I don't know, I figure I'll just be like, the people who want to watch my gaming stuff, they can follow me on the main channel and see my gaming stuff there as well. You know, I was trying to kind of separate things between the readings and the YouTube and the, um, not the YouTube, the YouTube and the, I was trying to separate the readings and the gaming content and all that stuff. But, you know, meh, screw it. I'll just kind of converge it all into one again. Um, those of you who have been watching the Plague and Shiki YouTube channel, um, know that I've already posted gaming in the past. There is gaming on this channel. It's not just all on Plague and Gaming. So, honestly, no real change for y'all. But those of you who are on Plague and Gaming, if you want um, the gaming content that I'll be uploading from Twitch, um, I won't be doing, like, edited gameplay or anything. It'll just be, like, ripped from streams. At least I don't have any current thoughts of doing, like, playthroughs that are not live-streamed. Um... I could in the future, or I could edit down live stream stuff to like highlight specific cool or nice moments. I don't know. It depends if I find like decent video editing software again, um, because the software I had, I lost the keys to after I reinstalled Windows, and then finding new software has been a bit of a pain in the ass. And that's also, if we go ahead and go on to the next subject, the Plague and Shiki channel, which, by the way, URL changed. The URL has changed. It used to be youtube.com slash TPS Plagin. Fun fact for those of you who did not know, the TPS standard for the Plague Society. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. It's Plague and Shiki now to kind of stay on brand with the, the Twitch and stuff. So if you had it saved previously, I think the URL will still route you to me, maybe? Um, but if it does not, well, you're seeing this video now, so if you need to bookmark it again, um, you're going to have to change the URL um, or type it in differently. But now it's just plug and sheet. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Anyway, on to what I was saying previously about the video editing software. Those of you who are on plug and sheet, you probably have noticed that the readings that I've done lately have been split up into like 15 minute videos or something like that. And it's not necessarily 15 minutes, it's like. Uh, Basically, any time there's, like, a stopping point in the story, like, whenever the artist, or not the, the, the artist, the writer does the, uh, like, Falling Shadow has this thing where they do, like, a couple asterisks, like an equal sign or something like that, or maybe it's just the equal sign, I forget which, but it indicates, like, a break in scene, like, there's a different scene starting, like, uh, and then we went to sleep, pause, and then it skips time forward to when they wake up, and yada yada, that's a, a scene change, basically. Um, each one of the uh, the videos ends at one of those scene changes, um, or like when they go into a memory orb or something, for example. Um, and the reason for that is because one time when I was editing videos, the video editing software I used fucked something up, and so it completely like ignored like one of the things that I brought in to add to the story. So a huge chunk of story was missing. And because of that, and because I've already deleted the, uh, the source uh, files for it, I didn't have those to just kind of re-add, um, I had to re-record that entire, I think it was like a, it was like a 40 or 50 minute sec session, and I was like, this is fucking stupid. Um, so I was like, I'll just go ahead and change that, um, and make it so uh, we're just going to chunk up the videos, you know. I mean, for those of you who don't like a lot of ads, um, it's probably not great. If you're on PC or whatnot, go ahead and get ad blocker. I hear, I hear mobile has ad blocker too. Um, you can just ignore those those ads and whatnot um, if you really want to, or you can just sit through the ads. You know, take a little pause, a break, you know, from from listening to my readings and stuff, and kind of go from there. Uh, but anyway, 
Speaking of ads, uh, I think it was, God, it was Draco or Stardust. I don't remember anymore. The, the authors of uh, Falling Shadows, they actually mentioned to me a while back that apparently some of my fucking videos had ads in the middle of the videos. And I was like, what? So I looked at them and lo and behold, YouTube decided to auto check this box that was like, Yes, I want mid-roll ads on my videos, and the um, algorithm that also like flags your channel for bullshit stuff. And then we are like, uh, we don't know, haha. <laughs> um, we're gonna trust that algorithm to like place ads in the correct spot. Well, guess what? Ads, the entire fucking thing's important because I cut it in areas that an ad would need to go. But anyway, I tried to go back through the videos that I had. Um, I went through like a bunch of videos. Tried to do it. I don't know if there's still any out there. If they are, just suffer through it. Um, but going forward, I have that fucking box unchecked. And if it gets fucking checked again, YouTube, fuck you. You pieces of shit. Goddamn, everyone through mid roll ads. Like, Twitch is trying to do that on people's streams now where they're just like, we're gonna have random ads thrown in the middle of your content. And it's like, yeah, don't, don't do that. Especially on Twitch when it's live and people can like miss things from ads. Like that seems kind of like a dickish thing to do on their account. But anyway, so yeah, that's the YouTube um, situation right now. So we're going to be doing uh, VODs from Twitch. I'm going to you know, upload them to the Plague and Sheiky channel now as well. Um, some VODs have already been uploaded to Plague and Gaming. I'm not going to copy them over because um, I don't have the, the raw footage anymore. Because <laughs> I delete everything after it's uploaded. Um, anyway, so look forward to all that stuff. If you're on Plug and Gaming watching this now, go drop over to Plug and Sheiky. Just drop me a subscription if you've not already, and then you'll uh, get the next videos coming out. Um, speaking of videos coming out on Plug and Sheiky, um, for those of you who I, I don't think I've told anyone, else about this but uh falling shadows is going to be delayed for a little bit because draco and stardust they want to get a couple chapters ready before releasing them i think they had said um so i don't know how long it's going to be before they're ready to have me start recording them or if they want me to record them all at once after they do or if they want me to be like eh, maybe do like one every two weeks or something we'll figure that out when we come to it but um yeah so that, that's what's going to go on with Falling Shadows. As for the other story we're reading, Changed Fates, I got an email from the, uh, the author of that one, and they're still working on it. It's coming out and whatnot. Um, I was actually being commissioned to read the story, and I kind of got tired of the, the quality that I needed to read them at to have him be like yeah that's good so i was like dude i'm getting like between like work and twitch and youtube and just trying to like live a normal life and stuff i kept like missing the opportunity to properly like read the damn story and find the time to like edit how i needed to read it to actually get the characters voices to match up where they need to be and all that kind of stuff so i was like dude can i just read your story for free and upload it when I can read it. And he was like, yeah, sure, it's fine. So we're gonna do that. So hopefully chapter nine of Changed Fates is gonna be coming out here shortly. I don't know exactly when. I'm planning to record it either later today or tomorrow, one of the two. But that's the idea. We're gonna get that one going out. So that's pretty much all on this side of things. Um, I, I guess we'll mention one more thing on Changed Fate. There's currently 15 chapters out total for it. I'm probably going to try and do at least one once a week, or every other week, or every other other week. So, like, every three weeks, I guess. I don't know. Kind of depends. I don't want to, like, read them all at once, and then we're just kind of, like, waiting on the author to, you know, write, because I don't want to make it like, oh, he, he's waiting on... Or, I don't want to make the author seem like I'm, I'm waiting on him to, like, you know get some shit out so I can record it because 
that's fine. I like not having to, you know, record. It's fine. But, uh, yeah, especially when it's longer stories. So, longer stories are just like, ugh, all right, time to start reading for two hours. Yeah, my voice hates me for that. Especially since it's just like, I have to talk like this or this or this and all that kind of stuff. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, on to the final subject of today. Other stuff. Yep. Didn't really think this subject out very much. I was just going to like kind of ramble on about things for a while. But uh, so I was thinking a while ago, like a couple months back. Since Twitch wasn't doing too well, I was averaging like zero to like two uh, views per stream, and I wasn't getting that uh, that affiliate momentum to like actually get uh, stuff. I was thinking, fuck it, why not at December if I'm not getting a consistent viewership on Twitch? Since people don't seem to like my gaming content anyway, I'll just go back to YouTube and start recording a bunch of uh, stories for people. Um, starting on, you know, 2021, um, the new year, you know, new year, new me, as everyone fucking says, but no, um, what I decided just now, like a couple minutes ago, within the last couple of days, is I'm gonna try and do more content, you know what I'm saying, get more stuff out for all y'all, so what I'm saying is plugins back, baby, so, I don't know what the fuck I'm gonna read, so I'm looking specifically for some short stories that are not sexual, not lovey-dovey in nature, preferably stories that are a single chapter or multiple chapters, but the word totals are under 6,000. So that's for both of those, like a single chapter that is like it's it's a one chapter story that is under like 6000 or so words or multiple chapters but each chapter adds up to 6000 total for the entire story so if any of you out there listening have a specific story and whether it's uh, uh an MLP fan fiction whether it's a creepy pasta whatever it is if you want to hear it and you think it would be fun for me to do, go ahead and suggest it in the comments. I think you can link stuff, so if you can, link me to where uh, I can read it at. And uh, if you look at the other comments and you're like, dang, I would want to listen to that as well, upload that comment or uh, thumb it up. I don't know how YouTube works for comments. I don't dwell on the comments much on YouTube videos um but that way the the top ones are the ones that i'll kind of look at here in the next week or so to kind of start reading so and since it's uh halloween and stuff like that coming up here later this month the scarier ones the better or the darker ones the better anyway think uh think slaughter die and nightmare on uh Stir Up Street, I think that's the name of that story. The fucking, like, Freddy Krueger, um, Pinkie Pie story, which was fucking great. Although it had this one arc that was a little weird. And then after that arc that we skipped, it also was kind of a little weird because it implied that two of the characters were married because people do weird things with fan fictions instead of just, like, uh, trying to say that I don't like shipping characters that exist or characters that don't exist with characters that exist in fan fiction. So, like, yeah. Like, if it's two original characters that are shipped together, that's fine. But if it's, like, a character that you make up and, like, another character that already exists in the material and they get together and smash uglies and, like, marry and stuff, it's a little bit cringy, in my opinion. I'm gonna throw that out there. But, yeah. So, if you want more readings, say so below. Give me a... Give me a couple, maybe one or two, that you really want me to read. Like I said, don't do long ones, because I'm gonna try to spin up a little bit here. I'm not gonna, I'm not seeking to spend a lot of time out there uh, reading like 
epic, like, 500 chapter stories that are, like, all 10,000 plus words, like Followed Equestria or Parted Horizons or Falling Shadows, because, honestly, that takes a lot out of you, sitting and just reading for hours out loud. At least it does for me, because I'm not a big reader in general. I'm pretty sure there's people out there who are like, man, fuck yeah, I love reading. Reading is great. And they would not mind doing that. But uh, I'm not a big fan of it. Don't get me wrong, I like the stories that I've read. I don't think there's been one bad story. Because if it is a bad story, I don't upload it. Yeah, because I didn't like it and I couldn't get into it. But, like, I'm sure you all have noticed if you've listened to my stories that have the crazy characters. Like, uh, the, uh, the, the Rainbow Factory one, where was that? That was like that tweaking, like, weird stallion guy who, uh, like, his voice was just like all over the place and he was like fucking insane and it was great and I loved doing that voice. Or like, uh, I, fuck, Falling Shadows just had one character who was like that and I forget who it was and I loved them. Or was it, was it them or was it a, a doctor character who I liked? It wasn't the doctor, um, uh, house homage. It was, uh, Another one just recently. I forget who it was. No! I remember the Falling Shadows one. Spoilers. It was, um, a, uh, like a voodoo devil kind of, uh, character. Um, I'm not gonna tell you exactly what it was or whatnot, but that's, like, what my, like, interpretation of what he was was. It was like a, um, like a zebra devil, almost. But it was like, uh, God, I can't even remember the voice I did for it, but it was like a, you know those like old timey, like videos where it's like you're in the South and uh, there's like a devil and it's like um, I can't even fucking think of the voice right now. It was a spur of the moment thing I gave this guy, and it was like it was like a really southern kind of devil voice that I gave this guy. A really like smooth silver tongue kind of talking thing, you know. That's what I gave him. But uh, other than that, yeah. So, like I said, give me the stories. I will check them out at my leisure. And if I see some I like, I'll pick them on up. And I will read them. And like I said, they can be, you know, fan fiction. Or they can be, like, just creepy pasta. Hell, if you want me to read an SCP entry, go ahead and do that. Uh, toss me uh, an SCP. And I'll, I'll read through a couple SCPs. If you're like, hey, read SCP, I don't know, 192. I don't even know what the fuck that SCP is. Let me actually look it up. Just because I'm curious. SCP-192. 192 is... I don't know. There's a lot of text, not a lot of reading. It's, uh... Where is the description? It's a vacuum x-ray tube that forms the primary component of a diagnostic x-ray machine manufactured by blank on blank blank blank. Yeah. It emits a high quantity of alpha and beta radiation. Cool. That's what that one is. There's a lot of SCP that are, like, really mundane and not, like, interesting. My favorite ones are the Keter ones. The, uh, the ones that are, like, fuck you up and kill you and all that kind of shit. Anyway. Like I said, give me some options there. Uh, I'm realizing that I failed to mention the stream schedule. I don't know back, back in the day when I first started, I was like, Hey, guys, I'm going to be streaming on Twitch. Um, I was like, we're going to go like eight hours this day and a couple hours this day and a couple hours this day. And basically that devolved into, hey, guys, I'm going to stream on Wednesdays and Thursdays from like six to like eight or nine. And that's kind of the schedule now. So for sure, I've been streaming at around 6 p.m. Central Standard Time until eight or nine um, Central Standard Time. And that's in the afternoon, p.m. Um, so if you want to catch a stream, check those out. However, I'm also going to try and stream other times. But I work every other day other than those two. Those are my days off from my real-world job. Um, so I'm thinking I'm also going to try, because I do Fallout 76 dailies every fucking day anyway. 
So I figure, why not after work, when I would normally do my Fallout 76 dailies, why don't I just fucking record myself doing that? And like, at least that way I'm streaming a bit. Except for Tuesdays, because Tuesdays, you know, I was looking last night on Twitch, and there are so many people I follow that stream on Tuesdays, and I'm like, what the fuck? Like, I don't follow a whole great amount of people. I follow like maybe 15 people. But like, of those 15, like 10 were streaming on Tuesday. And I was like, well, shit. <laughs> so anyway, that's the uh, that's the plan there. Um, also, I've been watching the new season of anime. Um, if you guys want to hear about my opinions on the new season of anime that's coming out, say so. Um, unless people actually want to see it, I'm not going to be like, yo, so uh, all these anime that I watched, they were cool. Um, Side note, if you do want to see my opinion on the new season of anime, I'm only going to do the ones that I watched, not the ones that are like, oh, this is a sugar fairy anime, and it's got, like, it's for little girls, and it's, like, a cute and adorable, disgustingly, like, colorful thing. No, I'm going to watch the ones that are, like, uh, I watched uh, the I'm Standing on a Million Lives show, and that one was fucking great. I'm also watching the uh, Over the Moon for You, uh, cute, um, like, romance, slice of life, sci-fi anime, and so far it seems fucking great. Um, there, there's a number of them that I've watched already, um, including the Ikibukuro West Park one, the, uh, one where the kid, uh, or there's this kid who raises slimes, he got reincarnated into that life, and, uh, he basically raises slimes and stuff like that. There's one about this princess who's, like, in a demon castle, and she just wants to sleep, so she goes around making her bed better, um, which seems fucking neat. Uh, so yeah, there's those and more. So I'm not watching like every single season or anime anime this season because there's some that I'm just like I'm not really into that. But there are a couple that I've watched the first episode of so far, and I've been like, I don't know, not really into that. It's like, hmm, meh. Probably gonna drop it after another episode or two. I'm going to give it a couple, I'm going to give it a chance to start up, because the first episode's not always good. The first episode's supposed to get your attention, which most of the series did. A couple did not. A couple were like, yep, this seems like a generic setup for a generic story in a generic world. And uh, we'll see how those go, though. But if you want to see that again, say so. Upvote other people who want to say so in the comments. That way, I know people want to see it. Because there's no point in making a video that no one wants to see. You know what I'm saying? All right. So, yeah. That's it for this announcement, everyone. Um, just to recap, follow me on Twitch. Follow me on Twitter. If you're on Plague and Gaming, get out now while you can and get on Plague and Shiki. On the YouTube, anyway. So, yeah. Thank you all for watching. And... We're going to start ramping up some videos again, I guess. Yes, sir, Bob. And it's about time for me to stream, so I will catch you all next time. Bye-bye.